the boat is going to be suspended above. Very important that the boat is suspending. Suspended. It's going to look really heavy, and I want the boat to uh, be totally clear. Okay. We're going to cut cut it to become really clear glass okay. at the bow. Okay. And any other color? Uh, a slightly blue color. Slightly blue. We just no. we just decided today two grams of cobalt oxide. Okay, super. I love that idea. So the reason I'm doing this project with Bertil is that I saw his boat for the first time and for me it was really amazing because it represents like a journey for me and he represented an adventurer, an artist who was really getting people to think about the future and where they're going. It makes you think. The boat does way more than art. It communicates and that's what art is about for me. But for me it communicates the adventure and the journey in life. And he has so many inclusions that also communicate that. The ladder, the stairs, the floating people. There's so much in his art that really communicated to me and I like to do the similar kind of thing, so I thought, oh, we're going to make a great collaboration. I was thinking perhaps putting it on, on top and do it with engraving. And those figures down, there are going to be figures down here, hardly visible. Mm. We have to make an effort to see them. Okay, good. And this is going to be the bottom of this? Exactly. Yeah. That's this. There is going to be uh, uh, one large boat form, uh, which will be um, situated in a, in a cabinet. The second piece is going to be a, a standing piece, about 10 feet high, that is more um, like a vertical uh, voyage. And the third object will be uh, this circular piece which uh, is like, uh, like the earth visited by um, a foreign, not only foreign, an out of space uh, vehicle with visitors from out of space. I, I draw a lot and that's the beginning. The real place of creation when it comes to me is with the sand in front of me with that damp sand and when you actually have to try, try to convey from paper and lead pencil or charcoal to three-dimensional work in the sand. I'd like to communicate all sorts of issues about human rights and I intend to do that through art. And I think art is the highest level of communication. You know, the lowest level is a bullet. The highest is art. But you added something to my uh, imagination, and it was actually an inspiration. You did send me all these drawings. Mm -hmm. And um, for my first reaction was, you know, no. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think there's a lot that we can do with this going forward. Well, the thing is that I'm so much connecting this figure, the E.T. figure, to some kind of a banal film uh, figure, you know? Uh-huh. But you actually refer to him as he, he exists mm -hmm. amongst us. It was very inspirational to me. I'm excited about that, but I'm also excited about this. I think that we're gonna do a fabulous job on this. I'm thrilled about it. I have an alphabet of symbols that I mm -hmm. use over and over. Uh, the Y, I love the Y because to me it's a, it's a place to choose direction. And here we have a, and we have a map. A map, which uh, is going to be 
directing this ship or actually when when it's leaving this planet this is what they will see for me art is about communication and it's what do you want to communicate and what i like to communicate is sheer beauty and moving people to the future that's what i'm interested in We have been preparing for this casting for like two months. Now there's no way, there's no return. There's a point of no return. It's now it happens.